Hey there everybody, Justin Meyer here at Midwest Me Arms doing orders here Monday, got my labels ready to go, wanted to go through what to expect when you're expecting uh, live insects from Midwest Me Arms. So let's talk through uh, what that's going to look like when it shows up so you know what you're getting yourself into uh, if you've never done this before. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, uh, live insect shipping uh, usually goes pretty well. Uh, every now and then there's a couple issues, if there are please reach out to me. Uh, the post office is doing their best to get orders out. Uh, love uh, dropping them off there and uh, getting them to you. If there's any issues, please let me know. We'll work through that together, okay? Um, I ship out in these USPS boxes. I do also have a larger box for wholesale accounts, uh, but you're gonna get a box with holes in it. Depending on the time of year, you might have more holes, you might have less holes. Those holes are for the insects so they can breathe through their travel. I like to use boxes with the holes in them because if there's an issue with the box, I don't use the screen grates because sometimes those can come off, sometimes the things can get out. Post office doesn't like that, you guys don't like losing insects. So um, I'll use a box with holes and one of these bags. So I'll use a mesh bag like this up until it gets really cold. Uh, and really cold for me is under freezing. Um, so I'll use these mesh bags with some just loose newspaper in there. Uh, that loose newspaper gives the insects something to grab onto, um, gives them the opportunity to either go towards the center and get warmer together or go out to the outside and cool off. Uh, and when they travel from me to you, they're gonna go through a lot of different temperature shifts from moving into a, a facility, uh, leaving this uh, farm here where it's 80 degrees, uh, headed out into 40 degree weather, uh, into the post office where it's gonna be 80 again, um, in and out, in and out. So this allows those insects to move around in there. Uh, and it also gives them some cover to hold some of that heat in if they need to. They can self-regulate really well. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll put the insects in. I'll use a zip tie, uh, pretty small zip ties, um, nothing too robust. Uh, so it's pretty easy to, to cut through. Um, and I'll just wrap that around there and zip tie it on. I do use bags that have these ties on them. So if you are unable to get these open for some reason, please let me know. I'm happy to uh, use these. It takes me a little longer to get these tied and there's a little bit more potential for problems, uh, so that's why I use the zip ties. Um, but if zip ties are okay, grab a pair of scissors. These will cut real easy. Uh, they're not too thick, but they are secure enough that they're gonna hold those insects in. So this bag with the zip tie on it, pretty simple. Put it on there, get it nice and snug. Okay, so this would have your insects in it, whether it's beetles, uh, superworms, or mealworms. They'll be in there crawling around. That bag goes in that box. So there are no, uh, no, no food or substrate or wheat bran or any of that stuff in here. Um, you might get a bit of frass from this. So when you open this up, at the bottom of the box, there might be some frass. Don't worry about that. That's normal, natural. They're doing just fine. So this gets in there, closed up like that, and taped. Okay? It's going to have your shipping label on it. Uh, I also do hold for pickup. So I have a whole bunch of them printed here. I apply those uh, when necessary. So I ship everything hold for pickup unless you explicitly tell me not to. So if you tell me not to, if for some reason you can't get to the post office, or maybe you're first on your route, or you have an agreement with your postal uh, folks there uh, where you're at, I'm happy to do that, but please reach out to me. Otherwise, everything goes out hold for pickup, okay? Uh, so that'll get taped shut. It's got the live insects on there just to let the post office know, um, hey, give this thing a little extra TLC, right? Once you receive this, so this is going to be taped shut. Once you receive it, just cut that open, pop it open like this, and your insects will be right in there. Super straightforward. There's that zip tie there. You're going to cut that zip tie, empty out the contents of what's in here all the way, and then just gently peel that newspaper away. So that way, you know, whatever's in here, whether again, beetles, superworms, or mealworms, they're going to cling on to that a little bit. So shake them off into a Tupperware container, something with plastic sides that they can't get out of. Um, and then this bag uh, can be used again for whatever you'd like to use it for. Uh, I use cotton bags in the winter time, um, but the bags are perfectly good. Uh, so you can use those or collect them, ship them back to me. Uh, we can reuse them here. Uh, newspaper can be recycled. This is recycled newspaper anyway. So I get it locally. Uh, so we're reusing that. So feel free to recycle that, uh, use it for whatever purpose you need there. That is that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, uh, pre please reach out to me, justin at midwestmealworms.com. Um, let me know what I can do for you. If you have anything that you need different, unique, happy to help. Just need to know. Thank you much.